Hello cheese lovers and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on a journey of cheesy delight with Sunday's 7 cheesy ideas for lunch dinner. From cozy comfort food to indulgent treats and gourmet masterpieces, we've curated a selection of recipes that will transform your Sundays into a celebration of cheese. So, prepare your taste buds for an unforgettable culinary adventure, and let's dive into the world of cheese. Let's get started. First up, we're creating the ultimate cheese board. It's a culinary journey that takes us beyond the realm of ordinary cheese platters. We don't just throw a few blocks of cheese onto a wooden board and call it a day. No, we curate a symphony of flavors and textures that tell a story. Let's begin with the stars of our show, the cheeses. We're using a creamy brie, a robust aged cheddar, and a tangy goat cheese. These three cheeses offer a variety of textures and flavors, ensuring there's something for everyone. But a great cheese board isn't just about the cheese. Next come the accompaniments, which are chosen with the same care as the cheeses themselves. Fresh fruit, like grapes and pears, provide a refreshing counterpoint to the rich cheeses. Nuts add a satisfying crunch, while olives bring a briny zing that contrasts beautifully with the creaminess of the cheeses. And then there are the crackers. A variety of shapes and flavors adds interest and allows for different cheese and cracker pairings, but we're not stopping there. We're making our own homemade fig jam. This sweet, slightly tart jam is the secret weapon of any cheese board. It pairs wonderfully with all three of our cheeses, but it truly shines when smeared over a piece of brie on a crisp cracker. And wait until you see how our homemade fig jam brings it all together. Next, we're baking a camembert to perfection. This creamy, dreamy cheese is about to be transformed into a culinary masterpiece that's perfect for sharing or just enjoying solo. Our ingredients? Just the camembert, a few sprigs of rosemary and some garlic cloves, that's it. Simplicity is the star of this show. We start by taking our wheel of camembert. It's important that it's ripe for the perfect blend of flavors. Now we carve some slits on the top of the cheese. This isn't just for show. These little pockets are where we're going to nestle our rosemary and garlic. Speaking of which, let's peel and slice our garlic cloves thinly. They're going to infuse the cheese with a subtle yet impactful flavor that's truly irresistible. Next, we slide our rosemary sprigs and garlic slices into the slits we've made. The rosemary lends a piney zest that perfectly complements the rich creaminess of the camembert. We're essentially creating a symphony of flavors here. Now into the oven it goes. As it bakes, the cheese becomes fabulously melty, while the rosemary and garlic infuse their flavors throughout. The anticipation builds as the kitchen fills with this divine aroma. And finally, the moment of truth. Once that cheese starts to ooze, it's a clear sign that it's ready to be devoured. Paired with some crusty bread, it's a gastronomic experience that's hard to beat. It's a warm hug on a plate. Ever made cheese at home? Today's your day. We're going to take a magical journey into the world of cheese making, and our destination is rich creamy ricotta cheese. Now don't be intimidated, my fellow cheese enthusiasts. This process is simpler than you might think, and the reward is a cheese that's fresh, flavorful, and made with your very own hands. Let's start with the ingredients. You'll need 4 cups of whole milk, 1 cup of heavy cream, 3 quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and 2 tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. That's it. Just 4 ingredients stand between you and homemade ricotta. Now let's get down to business. Combine the milk, cream, and salt in a saucepan and heat them gently. You want to reach a simmer but remember slow and steady wins the cheese race. Once your mixture is simmering, add the lemon juice. You'll see the magic happen right before your eyes as the curds and whey start to separate. After a couple of minutes, remove your saucepan from the heat and let it sit for about 10 minutes. This will allow the curds to further separate and solidify. Then it's time to strain. Pour your mixture into a cheesecloth lined sieve and let it drain. What you're left with is fresh, homemade ricotta, but we're not done yet. This ricotta isn't just for admiring, it's for eating. And what better way to enjoy it than in fluffy, delicious pancakes? To make your pancakes, combine one cup of your homemade ricotta with one cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a tablespoon of sugar, a pinch of salt, three quarters of a cup of milk, and two large eggs. Mix these ingredients together, and you're ready to cook. Heat a nonstick pan, pour in your batter, and cook until golden brown on both sides. And voila! You've got ricotta pancakes that are light, fluffy, and absolutely delicious. Then we'll whip up some ricotta pancakes that will elevate your Sunday brunch to a whole new level. Who said scones had to be sweet? Today, we're going to debunk that myth by creating some savory cheese and chive scones that are sure to tantalize your taste buds. First things first, we'll need to gather our ingredients. 
we'll be using some all-purpose flour, baking powder, and salt for our dry mix. A bit of sugar is also added, not to make it sweet but to balance the flavors. Cut in some cold cubed butter until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. This is the secret to achieving that flaky, buttery texture we all love in a good scone. Next, we'll whisk together milk and an egg, which will act as our wet ingredients. We'll then fold in some grated cheese and freshly chopped chives, infusing our scones with a savory kick that's hard to resist. Combine the wet and dry ingredients just until the dough comes together. Remember, overmixing is the enemy of light, tender scones. Once our dough is ready, we'll pat it into a round and cut it into wedges just like a pie. A little brush of milk on top will give our scones a beautiful golden color as they bake. After about 20 minutes in the oven, our savory cheese and chive scones are ready to be devoured. Fluffy, buttery, and bursting with flavor, they're ideal for brunch or as a side for your evening soup. Enjoy the twist on the traditional scone and let every bite take your sundae to a whole new level. Grilled cheese but make it gourmet. We're pushing the boundaries of this classic comfort food, transforming it into a culinary masterpiece. These aren't your typical grilled cheese sandwiches. We're taking it up a few notches. Picture this, a crusty golden brown toast, giving way to a molten core of cheese, each bite an explosion of delight. That's the power of a well-made grilled cheese sandwich. But we're not stopping there. We're bringing a gourmet twist to this beloved classic. Let's start with the cheese. Instead of settling for the usual processed cheese, we're going for a blend of Gruyere and sharp cheddar. The Gruyere, with its sweet and slightly salty flavor, melds beautifully with the tangy sharpness of the cheddar. The result? A cheese pull that's not only visually stunning but also a treat for the taste buds. Now, onto the fillings. We're caramelizing onions to a deep sweet richness, their natural sugars drawn out and intensified. These caramelized onions add a layer of complexity, their sweetness balancing the savory notes of the cheese. But we're not done yet. We're adding another layer of flavor with crisp smoky bacon and thinly sliced apples. The bacon brings a delightful crunch, while the apples lend a refreshing crispness to each bite. It's a symphony of flavors and textures, all sandwiched between two slices of artisanal bread. And the bread? Oh, the bread! We're going for a sturdy sourdough, its tangy flavor and chewy texture the perfect vehicle for our gourmet fillings, and let's not forget the butter. A generous slather on each slice ensures a golden, crispy crust that's the perfect contrast to the gooey cheese inside, and there you have it. A grilled cheese sandwich that's anything but ordinary. From the gourmet cheeses to the thoughtful fillings, every element works together to create an elevated comfort food experience. These sandwiches are about to redefine your comfort food game. So the next time you're craving a grilled cheese sandwich, remember, it doesn't have to be basic. With a little imagination and a few gourmet ingredients, you can transform this classic dish into something truly special. For dinner, we're serving up stuffed bell peppers with a three cheese blend, quinoa, and veggies. Now, imagine biting into a vibrant bell pepper that's been roasted to perfection, its skin slightly charred and smoky, revealing a delightful surprise inside. A hearty filling of quinoa, sautéed onions, garlic, and a medley of other vegetables, all beautifully mingling with a glorious trio of cheeses, mozzarella, cheddar, and parmesan. Let's start by slicing off the tops of the bell peppers and hollowing out the insides, setting aside these natural bowls. We'll then heat up some olive oil in a pan and sauté our onions until they're translucent and fragrant. Next, we add in some minced garlic, followed by diced zucchini and tomatoes. We let these cook down a bit until they're tender and the flavors are well combined. Now, for the star of the show, our three cheese blend. We take equal parts of shredded mozzarella, sharp cheddar, and finely grated parmesan. Each of these cheeses brings something unique to the table. Mozzarella with its lovely stretch and mild flavor, cheddar for its sharp, tangy notes, and parmesan lending a salty, nutty edge to our dish. We mix our cooked quinoa into our veggie mixture, then add in our three cheese blend. We stir until the cheese is melted and everything is well combined. Then we spoon this filling into our hollowed out bell peppers, pressing gently to ensure they're well stuffed. A final sprinkle of cheese on top, and they're ready to go into the oven. Bake until the peppers are tender, and the cheese on top is golden and bubbly. What comes out of the oven is nothing short of a feast for the senses. The peppers, tender and slightly sweet, the filling hearty and cheesy with just the right amount of crunch from the veggies and nuttiness from the quinoa. Healthy, colorful and cheesy, it ticks all the boxes. 
This stuffed bell pepper dish is perfect for a weekend dinner, but trust me, it's so good you'll want to have it on weekdays too. So go ahead, give it a try, and let the magic of three cheeses transform your dinner into a gourmet delight. And to finish, a dessert that will surprise and delight, a chocolate and cheese dessert board. Now people often think of cheese as a savory treat, but when paired with the right elements, it can make a decadent dessert that will satisfy both sweet tooth and cheese lovers alike. Firstly, let's talk cheese. We're going for a trio of contrasting flavors and textures. We have the creamy and rich mascarpone, a cheese that's often used in desserts and boasts a naturally sweet flavor. Then there's the blue cheese strong, tangy, and a little bit salty. It's a bold choice but trust me it pairs incredibly well with sweet elements. And finally, the aged Gouda. This cheese has a slightly sweet, caramel-like flavor making it a perfect player in our dessert board. Now, onto the chocolate. Dark chocolate is our star. Its slightly bitter, rich taste creates a perfect balance with the cheese. You can either choose a bar and break it into chunks or go for individually wrapped pieces. It's all about creating a visually appealing board. But we're not done yet. Fresh fruit is a must on any dessert board. Berries are a great choice. They add a pop of color and their tartness cuts through the richness of the cheese and chocolate. Think strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, or even a combination of all three. And to complete our dessert board, we're sprinkling in some nuts for a bit of crunch and drizzling honey for an extra touch of sweetness. Almonds, pecans, or walnuts would work well here. And for the honey, a light floral one like acacia would work wonders. So, there we have it. Each component on this board has a role, creating a symphony of flavors and textures that will dance on your palate. It's the perfect way to end a meal or enjoy as an indulgent snack, a finale that's both sweet and savory. There you have it, seven cheesy ideas to make your Sunday special. We've journeyed through the ultimate cheese board, savored baked camembert, made homemade ricotta, baked savory scones, redefined the grilled cheese sandwich, stuffed bell peppers with a trio of cheeses, and ended with a decadent dessert board. If you're hungry for more culinary adventures, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep cheesin'.